Hey guys, I'm back. I wanted to reiterate what this video is about. Several of you guys have uh, requested over the last couple of years the option to have the light blink on mix as well as have the ball valve go to the open position when you power it down. By default, the Flow Pro is shipped where the light blinks on rinse and when you power it down, it goes to the mix position. As of July of last year, when we went to the manual override ball valve, this now allows us to do uh, make the change. So if you have this actuator, you can do it. If you have the older version actuator, it will not work but it's a simple process. Um, the, the, the Flow Pro comes in, in two uh, different ways, one without a chemical ejector bypass and one already assembled. Either way, the, the, the change is the same. You have four bolts here, as well as an Allen wrench on the bottom of your actuator. Remove the outer wrench and, and unscrew your bolts. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and just do it with electric. All right, now just pull the cap off for the cover. That's the one part of the flow pro the next part is separating the ball valve from the actuator and, and body and this is tight sometimes so you have to wiggle it at some point you have to keep pulling it it'll, it'll come out and when you do that you'll see the third part of the flow pro uh, drive mechanism which is a stem cap that goes on top of the stem so you'll you'll take that off now all you need to do to make the change is to turn this valve stem a quarter turn using a pair of pliers, a crescent wrench or whatever. This is the first thing I found. It's just an old handle. We're gonna take it and we're gonna turn it to the open position. And you can look in and see that it's open and you can tell by the threads being in line with the, with the body of the ball valve. Okay, now all we wanna do is Put it back together. Like this. And you don't want to over tighten them. You want to get it about hand tight. That should be plenty. And then once you're done, Put this back because this is uh, an important part of the Flow Pro. It does three or four things. And now you're ready to go. That's, that's all you do to make the change. However, there are a couple of things you need to know by doing that. The first one is you have a red line that's an indicator line of where the ball valve is, open or closed. Well, it's actually opposite now. So when you think it's open, it's closed, or when you think it's closed, it's open. Most of you don't look at that line anyway, or you can even put a, a sticker over it so you don't get confused. And secondly, uh, your remote comes with a rinse label, a rinse and a mix, and now that's going to be opposite. This is going to be mix, and this is going to be rinse, so there's two things you can do. First thing is you can pull the label off and write on the on the um, remote transmitter, or just turn it upside down, put it back on, and it's going to show mix on top and rinse on bottom. It'll just be up, you know, written upside down. Or we've ordered labels and we have labels in stock now that you can pull that off and put a new label on. You can order them off the website. They're like five or six dollars for uh, two labels and shipping. So everything's included. 
And that's really all there is to it. And, it, and uh, it's, it's a fairly simple process. Thanks, guys.